Today you will learn how a chatbot works. In case you haven't already, subscribe now, so you won't miss any more short informative tech videos like this one. Let's go. A chatbot interaction begins with you as a user. You communicate with a chatbot via user interface, which could be a website, an application, a messenger service or your smart device. Your voice is processed via so-called automatic speech recognition, which is a complex challenge of artificial intelligence. What basically happens is that the microphone captures the sound waves of your voice. Then, those sound waves are digitalized, filtered and transformed into a specific sequence. Afterwards, the sound properties are assigned to phonemes via so-called hidden Markov models. These phonemes represent differences within a spoken language that cannot be further differentiated. Numerous words can already be formed by combining individual phonemes. By linking individual hidden Markov models, a representation of the entire speech input is created, meaning that in the end, our automatic speech recognition transforms the speech signals into digital text. Then, the chatbot needs to actually understand the digitalized text representation of our speech input. This is done by a so-called natural language understanding. Natural language understanding basically consists of two steps. First there is the parsing step, where the input is analyzed in terms of syntactical correctness. Then comes the semantic analysis. Here, the information generated during the parsing process is used to actually understand the user input. The semantic analysis is normally done via deep learning, which is another sub-branch of artificial intelligence. I will make a separate video about this topic in future. The information obtained is then passed to a conversational engine. This engine decides how the chatbot should react to a user input. It is connected to a backend. This backend could be a simple database where the chatbot retrieves information from, but also the internet, interfaces or other application systems which enable it to actually perform tasks independently depending on the user input. After the database has been determined, the output of the chatbot must be created. To do so, software is used that generates natural language. This is also called natural language generation. In general, natural language generation can be divided into six steps. First, the software has to decide which information of an existing dataset is to be used for generating a response to a user input. Next, the sequence of the response is determined, meaning that for instance, first general and afterwards specific information is mentioned. Subsequently, single information is aggregated to make the response more clear to the user. The precise information is then transformed into an understandable form, so that the chatbot decides which words to use to express the information. Furthermore, reference expressions are used to describe single entities in a more concise way. And finally, the single words are put together to form real and grammatically correct sentences. Now we got a digital representation of our chatbot response. Chatbots, which are able to output actual speech, now have to transform the digitalized text back into a speech signal, which is called text-to-speech. This process takes place in two superordinate phases. In the first phase, the text is prepared for speech output. The stresses, accentuations and lengths of individual words, as well as the pauses between words, are analyzed. At the end of the first phase, the text is available as a phonetic transcription. In the second phase, this transcription is then transformed into actual speech sounds. The transformation itself is done by a rule-based or data-based method. Rule-based methods attempt to artificially generate human speech, whereas data-based methods make use of previously recorded human speech sequences. Afterwards, we receive a response from the chatbot. All of what you have seen is done in seconds, if not milliseconds. By the way, the steps of automatic speech recognition, natural language understanding and generation, as well as text-to-speech, are also summarized under the term natural language processing. Now, you should have a pretty good idea what the chatbot is about. Thanks a lot for watching till the end. If you like this content, please subscribe to my channel to not miss any more videos. See you next Sunday.